Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video I'm going to reveal the brand new smartphone that I just purchased. But before I do so, I want to discuss what led up to me choosing this particular smartphone. Now I've been working for myself, self-employed, for over 20 years now. And running any sort of business means that communication is a very big factor. You need to stay in touch with your clients, or you need devices that will allow you to complete your day-to-day -day tasks. And with smartphones being available on the market, that makes my job a lot, lot easier in comparison to when we had just the simple candy bar smartphones that were able to purely make phone calls and then later on send text messages. Doing what I do on the Geekanoise channel helped me a lot. I'm in the privileged position of being able to test a lot of different smartphones from different manufacturers. And these could be run in Windows Phone OS, iOS, or indeed Google Android. Now, the reason I chose this specific smartphone is that I looked at what current smartphones were available. I also looked at some of the more recent releases, even releases that have happened in 2017, to try and compare what I wanted from a device. In addition, what I use as my current daily driver also came into the decision as well. I currently use an iPhone 7 Plus for my daily driver or the smartphone that I carry around with me every single day. And that's quite a large smartphone. So I was looking for something that was a little bit more compact. The phone that I actually decided to use as my second smartphone is the iPhone SE. Now, obviously this runs iOS, so it fits into the Apple ecosystem that I use and I'm familiar with, but it packs some serious power. In fact, almost as good a power as the iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. In fact, if you go back a generation to the iPhone 6 area, this more than equals that power and it's all wrapped up in a really compact package. I've got a very fast processor in here with a good turn of speed, great battery life and cameras that deliver 4K video capture. So why did I choose this instead of something running Google Android? For example, just recently there was the new Honor 9 smartphone that was actually launched at a price very similar to this. But I've always found that other smartphones are always lacking in the camera department and the camera is very important to me. I produce a lot of video and I take a lot of photos. And also I wanted something nice and compact. Now I must admit that when this was first launched, I did scratch my head a little bit and wonder why have Apple launched a small screen device when they've got other amazing smartphones in their lineup. But now I really understand it. Certainly as a second device, I don't want my pockets filled up with two big smartphones. But even as a primary device, this offers up a lot of power in a very compact package. I love the design because it reminds me of the older iPhones and it just is very, very comfortable to use. I'm really pleased with this decision to add an iPhone SE to my business communication devices. It really is still a little computer or a very, very compact computer that's super powerful. Now, I won't be doing a full review on this because it's been available for quite a while now. But what I will tell you is this is currently available at a very, very good price in the UK. You can pick up a 16 gigabyte version of this for £259, unlocked, SIM free, or £289 for this 32 gigabyte model. And of course it's available in silver, the space grey that I've got here, also the gold and the rose gold colours as well. I'll leave a link to where I picked up mine down in the video description. This video is not sponsored, but I picked this up from GiftGaff in the UK. And I think it's just fantastic value for money. A much wiser choice than buying maybe something else that doesn't have the specifications and that awesome camera performance. So let me know what you think in my decision to buy an iPhone SE. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Leave me some comments below, hit that like button, and I'll see you in another video very soon.